today we're going to be putting these new headlights in. We got side lamps too. So stick around, I'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, um, we got to get these side marker lights out, we got to peel all this tape off. This is where one clip went and it broke. Uh, I had them glued in and that didn't work so. Uh, this one, you know, same way, the clips broke and they kept wanting to come out. But what we've got to do is we've got to, you know, we've, we've got to get the side marker lights out first. And then we've got these little tabs we've got to bend down and there's some down on the bottom there to get this grill out to change them lights. Now these lights are supposed to be within, you know, there's you should there's they're supposed to be preset. Um, but we'll just have to see when it gets dark. But uh, I mean I'll show you on, on the lights themselves how to adjust them. Um, <coughs> There's an adjustment right here on one. There's one down. You got to get down in this hole to adjust these headlights. One will make it go left and right, and one will make it go up and down. I believe this side will makes it go up and down. This side makes it go left and right. But I'll show you that when I get to it uh, on the new headlight. But they should be pretty close. But we'll we'll find out at dark time. But so let's go ahead. Now I have changed these before. And I do believe, not these particular ones, but I have changed them before. And I think there's a couple, uh, I think all we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, a long straight screwdriver to get to these tabs. And uh, I think a 10 millimeter, which I've got the stuff over there. We're going to have a barbecue tonight, have some steaks. But, so... Let me get this peeled off. Once I get the tape peeled off of here, then I'll show you what we're going to do next and how to get these things out of here. Okay? So, bear with me and I'm going to go get a knife or something to try to peel this tape off. Okay, I got the tape off. As you can see, it's just, you know, there's where the one tab went. See that right there. I'll show you here in a second. This, there's a little lever right there. You push it down and this just pulls right out. This, this is where your bulb goes. So, set that up there. Now, this looks like a piece of one. One goes up in here. Looks like it may have some issues. I don't know. Um, this looks like one here. So you have one that goes up in here, and one in here, and then one that actually goes over top of that. And. Um, like I said, when they they when when the plastic gets old, you know, you, you actually have to. Here, let's take this out and I'll show it to you. It actually has to flip over top of this. So hopefully, that's not too bad. But right here, let me grab the camera see the new clip the one that should have been right there actually goes over top of this thing okay see like that so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this screw well I can't I'm gonna put this screw somewhere where I don't lose it there's that alright now I'm going to go ahead and take this side out the same way since you're right here. Okay. See? The bottom clip broke on this one that goes in there. 
the top clip was, well, it's kind of broke. So it goes inside there. So, so I'm not sure. This might be okay. I may have to end up ordering one of them too. I don't know. But, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this ball out. You just turn it a quarter turn and it pops right out. And this is that latch I was telling you about. You just push down on that at the same time you're pulling out on this piece. And it'll it'll come out. I can't do it one handed, but that's what you do. You just squeeze that right there. Pull that out. Okay? So, uh, last time I put bulbs in there, I went with the orange ones because I like the orange color. It made it a little more vibrant and more noticeable. Right in there. So, um, okay. Now, let me get you on stand. I gotta get the screw out of here. I'll get you over here. So you might see these little tabs have to be pushed down and these will pull out. Okay? So, like these ones, you get down inside there. Okay? But first, let me get this off. And I'll see if I can zoom you in on some of this. So hang on a second. Alright. Alright, now this one, you just get right down inside there and you push that tab. And see how that popped that right out. And this one we already pushed the tab. There's a couple more on the bottom. Let's see where you at here. Okay. There's that one. Got one over here. Oh yeah. Got them zoomed in to try to get you a better shot. See this one feels a little there we go. There we go. Okay. Now I got a couple more down here in the bottom. I'm not going to be able to probably show you, but there's one down here. And uh, let's see. And I think there's one here. One over, let me back you out. I don't know. Fuck. All right. Yeah, so there's one down here in the bottom. Down here, there's one in the center. I'll try and get right here, maybe show you. Yeah, I'll have to push that and pull out on it. There's one over in here. Now, I believe on these on these side pieces. Okay, that these once you get this these center ones out, these side pieces I believe just pop out. Okay, now they could be a pain in the ass. But let me go ahead and get those ones popped. Then I'll show you what the side pieces, what they're actually like. Because they just... Okay. So, let me get to that. Alright, these are the side ones I was telling you about. They just go in and they clip around something. So we've done good. We haven't broken any of them. Which is surprising. So... All right, now that that's out of the way, we should have, yeah, two 10 millimeter nuts here. Then there should be, yes, there's one in here. That looks bigger than a 10, but we'll see. If it's bigger, I'll let you know what size it is. And then these, these slide in a notch. Once you get them bolts in, these will slide in. Let me show you what I mean in here. Right here. Okay. So, that's how they go in there. And this is what I was telling you about where you adjust it at. Um, 
there's the bottom one that's to adjust it up and down that one there and this one you got to turn that to go left and right but I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that but anyway let me get these out of here and we'll get the light out and we'll unplug it just seen a car chase go by I think the video the security cameras picked it up so that should be interesting I'll put that footage on at the end of this video nope they're all 10 millimeters so that's good now now we just slide this over right there just like that nothing holds this in except just it just pops in and pops out so you just unplug that there you go just like that. This is the piece I was telling you about that slides in to that notch right. Can you see? Yeah, that notch right there. So, uh, not too bad. So, I'll show you. There's that square notch. See that right here? That's where it slides in, those two holes on the side. So I'm going to go ahead, this will slide in there, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in, okay, sorry if I'm in your way, alright, slide that over, just like that, and then slide this piece in, and then you put your bolts in. It's that simple. Uh, we're going to do that to both sides. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if you want to see me do this or not. But I'll go ahead and fast forward this side, okay? This one don't have the rubber boot on it because I left the rubber boot off one day. Uh, this is the one that was burnt out. But if you go to change these, you don't have to pull the headlights clear out. You can get to it from behind. And you just flip this down and over. And that comes out like that. So it is burnt. Okay, so. But I will save the other one. I, I did... Like I said, I put both of these in at one time, and I did save the other one, but I'll be doggone if I know where it is. So, alright, there we go. Now, since that other headlight's not bolted in, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pull that back out and have Monkey come look at her truck, and we'll record her reaction. Hang tight. You know, it kind of looks cool like that. Looks like a demolition derby truck. God, I miss them days. Let's get Monkey's reaction. Done. You want to see this? Looks like a demolition derby truck. Looks sad. I miss them days. Doesn't even look happy anymore. Okay, let's check see if they work. And those two do. I can see on the uh, on the garage door here. I'll show you. I'm standing in the middle of them, but see this 
the left one's a little higher than the right one. Okay, so just check and make sure all the tires are aired up. So this one I'll have to aim down just a smidgen, but I think it's alright. Well, I mean other than that, it seems to be okay. Let's hit the high beams. And I can see they're both working. So, yeah, right on. Okay, now let's get the grill back in. It just pops in, I'll show you that. Um, let's get the grill back in, and then we'll put the side marker lights in. And I'll have to clean all this old tape off some other time. I've got some stuff in there to do that with. Uh, what I use is lighter fluid. You can use Goo Gone. Whatever you guys prefer, just as long as it don't eat your paint. But let's go ahead and uh, let's get the grill in, get these shut off, get the grill in. And um, got some steaks on the grill there. So, alright. Hang tight, guys. Okay, so I went ahead and adjusted them pretty close. Right down here. I'm sure you can see this maybe that silver right there that's your adjusting screw to go up and down um, it's going to be that one right there okay and it takes a 5 30 seconds it's very very tiny it takes a yeah 5 30 seconds to adjust it okay so you screw it out brings it down you screw it in to bring it up so uh, it could still need adjusted we'll just have to see how she what she thinks of it okay and um, everything should be all right uh, if they're too low I'll raise them if they're too high I'll lower them but I think it's just about right the truck is not centered as you can see in the driveway but I think it's going to be okay we'll just have to see so all right on to the grill installation okay now all it all it does is pop back in the holes there's only one way it can go uh, these ones here on the side these funky ones here those ones will be the ones that'll give you the trouble okay Lined up here. There's that one. So that one went in. Good. Alright, now, and what holds this is those screws that go down in there. Now let's get the side marker lights in here. Okay. Now let's hope I don't break them putting it in. Shouldn't because they are new. Alright, now this is just gonna just gonna plug right in. You can't, there's only one way it'll go. You can't mess it up. Now we gotta, gotta line these up. That under there. Now let's get our filled screw in there. Just like so. Now you can see how tight it is. So I think that's gonna that's gonna be good. Don't want to pull out of there. So all right, same way with this one. Get this plugged in. Man, I smell and hear them steaks cooking. So put the bottom one in first. Get the top one 
back here started. There you go. Now just slide it right up in there just like that. Now, let's get this in here. Top one's a little, it's not going to fall out, but I'll have to get those clips. That's not a big deal, because um, I don't like when they look like that. It should actually be back a little bit farther. Of course, that could be about right. So there it is. Now, the fun part, peeling the plastic off of them things. Happy. You think? Yeah, I hope so. They look fancy. Oh, that's what it used to look like new, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Now, a lot of guys will peel this stuff off before they put them in. I don't because I have the tendency to scratch shit up and I don't like doing that. There we go. There's that one. is that all right so that looks good let's close the hood there we go used to have a bug guard that went across the hood of that and it was it was for a Toyota for that truck but it got broke when a tire came off somebody's car and flew back and flew up over her truck and broke it so we just took it off because it looked stupid being broke you know so there we go nice pretty new lights there we go oh I thought that was a crack but it's not all right done and done so that's a lot better than wow oh that should make a big difference <laughs> there's the difference I had these pretty close to that at one time yeah but uh you know I just haven't done it in a couple years so there you go monk yay thank you monk's playing uh monk's, like chef. monk's playing kind of like chef yeah yeah no you're doing fine did you season them yeah okay alright there you go monkey love you now you're safe Yay, I can see again. And you won't get pulled over no more. I know. She got pulled over once. They gave me a warning. They just gave her a warning. But, you know, still, it sucks, you know. So I tried to not stay out at dark time. Well, plus it's a safety issue. Now, we have both of them on high beam, but you can't, you know, you don't want to be blinding people. No. So, now she's safe and legal. There we go. Looks good. I adjusted that one headlight. Like I said, we'll let her drive it after dark see but I think it'll be fine so there you go so there's how you do that nothing to it but to do it it's real easy guys you watch this video step by step it's pretty self-explanatory them tabs you'll see them I know they're kind of hard to see on camera but once you see them you'll know what to do just push them down as you're pulling out a little bit there you go the edge ones you may have to give a tug give a tug on the on the outside ones and that grill will pop right out so uh there you go guys <laughs> kiss the cook where the hell are you i can't even see there she is all right guys thanks for watching my video thanks for joining in today of the live stream appreciate it and i'll see you all guys later appreciate it monkey she joined in i'll see all you guys later and have a good one thanks for watching shaber the myth the man legend Monkey says she's out for now. Okay. All right. We're going to go eat some steak. So be cool, guys. Thanks.